<laughs> Luke's proposed topic of conversation for this video is, will we ever be able to buy a graphics card ever again? Which is a depressing thought. And as Jensen Wang of NVIDIA has said, uh, 2022 is going to be grisly. It's like, oh, terrific. Mm -hmm. And as AMD clearly is pricing everything they possibly can as high as they can, it's like, how much does NVIDIA charge? We'll charge the same. It's like, oh, thanks very much. So yeah. Intel graphics... Now, I have said in previous videos, in reviews and so on, when Intel launches, it's Alchemist, isn't it? They've got yeah, wizardy the, names. Yeah, there's a few. Can yeah. we still call it XE? Or was that not yeah, allowed? Yeah, but XE is like, I think, the whole overarching thing. And then you're so going to get... So that's GeForce Radeon. No, it's um, Arc, isn't it? Wait, what? So wait. Arc, A-R-C. Yeah, so, yeah, that is. So Arc is GeForce Radeon. Correct. Um. Alchemist is sixty eight hundred, okay, or whatever. So it's the specific. It's the it's, but it's a generation. It's the first generation, um, and provided the. Uh, and when do we think it's happening? I think we think it's happening in hopefully Q one of next. I year. think Q one twenty twenty two. Latest rumors because we yeah. have no inside information on this. No, 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 no. We um, wish. <laughs> and frankly, even if even even if Intel was to state it categorically and promise faithfully, we wouldn't really believe it. Yeah, <laughs> just wouldn't believe it. Uh, and add in the big shortage that's been ongoing because, of course, Intel. It's not just a question of here's a processor. And when I say just a processor, I don't mean just a processor, but you know the thing. Yeah. But for this you not only need the GPUs, you also need all the associated hardware, yeah. and in particular the memory that goes with. You have to do packages, which um, NVIDIA has been using as a significant tool and leverage over their um, partners. Partners. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason why NVIDIA is the biggest chip company, the, the most valuable chip company in America, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, I, th I think they still are the most valuable. No, they are. No, I, absolutely. I, no, 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 no. Yeah. Um, and the, the, their share price, I checked the other day, in the last three years, I think it's tripled. Yeah, it has. If you're an NVIDIA three years ago, you're mm. making some yeah. bright bucks. So, um, yeah. well done, well done, NVIDIA. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. Um, shame we can't buy your products. Um, yeah. Would you like more money? Because my yeah, wallet's yeah, busting yeah, yeah, for you yeah, or yeah, AMD. Great, but... great. Uh, so hang on. Yes. So isn't there a um, rumor of a thirty ninety super? I I don't know. I saw some rumors about a thirty eighty was it a Ti or twenty was gig. A, was it a thirty ninety? Who could possibly care? I don't know. I saw something yesterday. I think it was saying a thirty eighty twenty gig, which was then cancelled, made its way to some Russian guy who then tested it. For mining or something like oh, that. Okay, I didn't but again, that. it's like you say, who I actually can't remember the last graphics card to launch. And, and this is coming from me. And this is, I'm probably going to go up in flames for this. But it's just, it is, I understand everybody's perspective from the other side. Because we're suffering just as badly. Mm. It's hard to get excited when you can't even buy the things. Oh. It, re it really, really is. And... Hopefully, Intel to save us all, right? <laughs> this, this is the rich. I have personally bought in the current generation an RX 6800 XT and uh, an RTX 3080 uh, for unpleasant sums of money. Yep. And partly it's because when I'm doing system builds to test cases and such, like I want to actually stick some heat through the things, but also it's because it looks the part. And also it's because when I get, say, blocks off uh, Alpha Cool or. Mm -hmm from EK, you know, I need to tell them what block I need. Yeah. And the current generations of those. So that's why it has to be that stuff. So along they come. Yeah, I really want Intel to produce. The, the snag is you know that they're going to match the pricing and they're meant to be 30, 70, hopefully, levels of Yeah, which is not bad. Oh, and that's, that's, that's pretty good for yeah. a first attempt, first proper attempt, if you like. Yeah, that's, yeah, quite. that's not bad. Yes, indeed. However, as I said in the Intel Accelerated event, a video which was hosted by Roger Kadori. It's there, but it was how long was that thing they did? Hour and a half, two hours? Long. Too long, very, very, mm. very long. And people said, Your video is very long. It's like, Yes, yes, I cut out two thirds of the internness and put in a bit of my own. It was long, and I'm sorry for that, but their thing was really long. Okay. But Roger Kadori, who hosted that, who is some like chief architect at Intel or some such title, is a very senior man at Intel mm -hmm. now. When I last saw him personally doing an event, it was when he was at AMD, when he was doing Vega graphics, 56 and 64. I bought two 
Vega graphics cards on the back of that. And I still haven't forgiven the man for it because by yeah. God, those things weren't very good. That's all I'm saying. No, I would. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. They were thirsty beasts and they yeah. were just, yeah. The 56 was more towards the all right side of things. I but bought the, the 64s. Yep, the 64 air cooled, not great. 64 liquid cooled, just not great. No, 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 <laughs> I mean, no, you no, know, exactly. Yeah. These were, these were air cooled. They sounded a bit like that, actually. Because I'm pretty sure that's a... <laughs> that's a Chinook. That sounds like a Chinook, yeah. Yeah, quite, quite. Yeah, so the wacka, yeah. wacka, 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 wacka. It's, it's funny. They must have heard us talking about Vega. They're like, look, the boys from the RAF giving us a real-life example. Cheers, guys. Can you hear the minigun spinning up? But uh, <laughs> yeah. Intel, Intel graphics. So for me, apart from the pricing, which realistically just means it'll be in line with the competition, which means they'll make more money than they ever thought they'd make. Yeah. Yeah. This has been rolling for years. I mean, Raja joined three years ago. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. so Roger's still at AMD 2017, so yeah, yeah. About, about three years ago. Yeah. So this has been rolling since then. Uh, they're manufacturing the GPUs at TSMC. Yep, yeah, the world's most important company in tech. Indeed. Yeah. The drivers will be Intel, so that's because, a concern. <laughs> <laughs> well, Intel, as they like to tell us, they employ more software engineers than their primary competitor, in some respects. AMD has... I'm oh, about to say Apple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. oh, you touched touched the soul on there, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, there are more Intel software engineers than AMD has employees, which yeah. says something about something. Mm -hmm. uh, which also makes you wonder how much of Windows 11 will be written by Intel, just as huge parts of previous versions of Windows have been written by Intel. Um, but there's that. So drivers, and then there's their not DLS, DLSS software. I can't remember yeah, it's called it XESS. Yeah, whatever that. That, that, that thing, yeah. Up, upscaly thing that make that make not great graphics work better at a higher resolution yeah. thing. Although there does seem to be an ongoing thing, because this is the... Um, were they showing some version of Metro or some such? But oh, Metro is usually a go-to one. Yeah, isn't it? They, I don't yeah. think it was, but it kind of looked a bit Metro-y. It was like in you know, a tunnel with you know, rails and things. Okay. But it was. Is that like a railway simulator or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> You sure it wasn't? Sorry. It was around about 15,000 FPS because it yeah. probably was train yeah. simulator. Right, right. <laughs> but uh, no, it wasn't that. Oh, it's um, a shame. Well, it could have been. But again, they're showing the 4K thing, and yet the fact of the matter appears to be that gamers want 1440. Yeah, 1440 is still the sweet spot. Oh. And 1440 Ultra Wide as well. That seems to be like yeah. um, an right. increasingly popular Whereas um, one. Whereas I yeah. use 4K monitors because of video editing, as I assume so do you. And For my so, video editing system, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. We're, so we're sitting there going, because oh, I'd quite like a decent 5K monitor just because I'd like something that's a step above what I'm currently using in the thing, but it's just not a thing. I mean, it's just not. not 8K, really, no. forget about that. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, it's just not going there. If you're on Apple, you can go 6K, which is a great monitor, Yeah, we're told, and costs a lot. Aren't they, but... aren't they powered by USB-C? Uh, wouldn't it be Thunderbolt, I guess, would it be? Is it Thunderbolt that powers it? Point being is it's not DisplayPort. Uh, I don't, well... It would be display port within the Thunderbolt. Right, 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 right. But in, in the context of it being a regular display port connector that plugs into no, the graphics. So. What I'm saying is you buy one of those Apple ones, they're LG monitors, aren't they? No, I'm about the Apple, the proper 6K ones. The, do you know the big HDR ones with the, the cheese grater back for all the cooling? The right, right, proper right, 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 right. So ones. I thought you were talking about the monitor, the display. Yeah, yeah the, the proper Apple monitor. Do you know the new Is monitor? cheese grater? Tell me more. I'm pretty sure this is the cheese grater one. The one that where you have to pay extra for the stand. Yeah, do you know the big, I didn't realize had a the, cheese grater thing on the monitor. Uh, the I, I might be wrong. The system but does. I thought the monitor was the cheese grater as well. I didn't as know in, this. I think it is because the monitor, because the HDR is so high peak brightness, it needs quite a bit of cooling, oh, I believe. Oh, heat sinkery, right. Yeah, yeah. Cheese grater and heater. Not an actual cheese grater. No, 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 no. I, 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 I thought you meant, so you mean it's a, it's a heat sink as opposed to a uh, just a visual thing? I think there is very much a heat element to the monitor because it packs so much peak brightness into the display. This is the 6K. I, I can never remember the name. I'm terrible with Apple naming, to be honest, but mm. this is the 6K beast, I want to call it, which is very expensive and doesn't come with a stand. That's the, the bit that's extra, Agreed. isn't it? But, yeah. but I'm sure, but it's a, an LG monitor, I believe. And uh, I don't know But, who but the I believe OEM it is, doesn't yeah. have, a, the only connection it has is a Type-C. Therefore, if you want to power it off your NVIDIA or whatever graphics card mm -hmm. with a DisplayPort cable. Yeah, you could do it because I guess it, Types. Adapters and so on. The, the idea you're going to buy thousands of pounds in one issue and then start putting dongles on it. Yeah. Mind you, have to do with your bloody headphones. Yeah. I um, guess it depends if it is Thunderbolt 
Uh, it would pro the video side of things would probably be the display port would version you, of USB C. Would you, would you take a chance buying it, hoping that you can make it work? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got fourteen days to return it, right? But the thing is, actually, this is something I'm really hoping that Windows Eleven does better because I've tried doing HDR on Windows Ten and oh, it's awful. It is, is so just bad. The pits. Yeah. And the thing is, this is one of those technologies again. So we have. Uh, monitors are really interesting. You, you're gonna get. I know you're gonna list it, but monitors are and display tech is really cool at the moment. Mm. Well, yes, but except that my experience with it seems to be varyingly shocking and dreadful. Yeah, I yeah. mean, what I'm yes, you're correct. But in the 4K world, I've got three LG monitors which okay. I've gone through. I bought one because I thought let's try some of this HDR, see if it actually does a thing. Because yeah. you know, I would look better in HDR. Of course. Yeah. Um, and I didn't realise that the allegedly HDR display I bought was HDR10, which is just a damn lie. Is that HDR10? Is that the same as HDR400, which is just not? No, 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 no. Oh, it's even lower. It, no, is it? it's even lower. It's, oh, right. it's yeah, basically okay, okay. done in software. It's just, it's oh, just, it's just oh, appalling. No, no. So HDR10 is not. Okay. Then you get HDR400, which is like the bare minimum. Which is the bare minimum, yeah. and people will debate whether it is or is not. Um, yeah, because 400 nits of brightness is. Right, a normal non HDR and, will do that anyway. And I believe my HDR four hundred monitor is actually rated at three fifty nits, which doesn't make a lot of sense. So okay. go figure on that one. And then I bought an HDR six hundred monitor, which is okay, thirty two hundred twenty seven, which doesn't actually look a lot better. So you start looking around at other LGs, and then you run into this Apple display, and it turns out that it's USB C. So you think actually no. I'm Move away, step away from the credit card. Yeah, right? yeah. It's a lot of money. I think if it's USB C, I haven't looked at it, please correct me if you're wrong. If it's USB C, it would probably be the Display Port stream of USB C but, or, sure. or Thunderbolt. Yeah, no, absolutely. But, but, I know exactly. But, you know, what you mean, yeah. Windows, yeah. Anyway, yeah but yeah. Windows 10, and then when you enable, if you do an HDR output from, you know, do some video like this, and you take your thing and you do, you're looking at the video thinking, well, it kind of looks okay. And then you turn on HDR on a Windows and it looks absolutely foul. I mean, just dreadfully rotten and yeah. awful, just awful. And you go, right. So then I sent over some test footage uh, to um, the Kit Guru team, including our people that use Apple Macs. With that beast monitor. With that beast monitor. Yeah. And as part of the test footage, I was shining a LED torch at the camera down and then shined it up. At which point I very nearly caused an injury. Because when like I was showing it, when, when I was looking at on my own LG monitors, there's some bright and some bright. Apparently, if you're looking on a 1500 or something nit brightness proper HDR yeah. monitor by Apple, because it's done right, apparently it doesn't have a safety feature. It just burns your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you knew this. I didn't. I yeah, didn't. Yeah, I kind yeah. of wondered. But I thought to myself, well, hang on. Surely there's some sort of thing to stop you literally wounding people. I mean, you know, it's like when you hear a, a, a TV advert and some bloody phone or whatever is saying, um, hey, Siri. At which yeah, every device yeah. in your house starts kicking <laughs> off. It's like, it shouldn't be allowed. This should be against the law. Hey, Google. Hey, sorry. Hey, this. Hey, that. Yeah. Like, no, don't do this. This is awful. And whatever you have to say, Alexa, and yeah. all the rest of it. At which point, and, and, sorry about that. I just what I've Yeah, no, oh, I was going to say, my <laughs> phone's probably just <laughs> pinged. Quite. You're the problem yeah, now. Quite. You're it's the exactly, problem. Again, exactly. intentional. But, but you think, yeah, that you know, th there should be common civility yeah yeah the idea that some numpty can shine an led torch at a camera at which point some other poor bloke is going ah <laughs> my <laughs> <eyes>. <laughs> i'll just engage the safety lock on my yeah phone. yeah but you think but but otherwise what's the point of having high-end hdr i mean if you if it can't you know and now we're looking into the sun so like, well that's not a good idea yeah I, yeah hdr is a funny one and it's not really i guess not really to blame on the graphics card side of things. Um, Windows seems a bit... It meh. seemed to be Windows 10 that was yeah, the fault. Yeah, because but... if you go on Netflix or something, or Amazon Prime on your normal TV in HDR, they look great. Well, my, they look exactly. fantastic. My TV, it turns out, is a, an LG TV, but it's a relatively basic fellow. And, and exactly, it's just... Really, I, I'd never even bother looking at what they... But I do know that when it, little thing comes up, yeah. boom! It looks good. It looks better. Yeah, but I yeah. think it's only HDR 10. Okay, fair enough, It yeah. really is. It might be HDR 400. It's certainly not above yeah, HDR okay. 400. And really, that was actually my thinking was, right, I want a monitor that can connect over a display port 
to my PC running Windows to do that. Yeah, okay. I didn't think that'd be much to ask. <laughs> no, it is, it is. Little did I know. And you do raise a good point. And I know we've kind of sidetracked from the topic here. Oh, I can't remember the topic. Yeah, the topic is about Intel, Intel graphics. graphics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, get, we'll get back to that. No. But you raise a good point as well, because when you say DisplayPort, you then have the additional complexity now of, and I was looking at this because I bought a new TV recently. So I bought a Sony. It was a uh, uh, 65. It was a XH9000, which these days, the TVs, the decent ones, seem to be 4K... 120 hertz panels mm. and then of course if you want to do 4k 120 that needs uh the specific hdmi but hdmi uh, 2.1 yes, i believe you yes. need for 4k yeah. 120 yeah. but if you want to do it properly with um vrr that's an, an additional update and an additional stretch and this and that and it is a complete minefield because you say display port you want display mm. port but is a display port? Is a mini display port? Is a USB C, which oh, is display yeah, port? Yeah, yeah. If you do it properly, HDMI two point one. It's um, it's interesting. <laughs> no, it's, it's absolutely horrific. Um, when display port came along, f not first exactly, but when display port came along, I didn't quite understand why anyone bothered. And then as soon as I started using it, it's like I'm using it because it latches in place, whereas HDMI yeah. falls out. And that's a win, and then yeah. you, and you move on. DisplayPort was a thing, and, and then it was a good thing. And then you yeah. s and, and you use it, and, and you evolve, and you move up to 4K um, PC and so on. And it's yeah. all, yep, this is terrific. And HDMI don't have anything to do with. And now with the cameras, it's I'm using HDMI connections and HDMI 2.0 to do 4K 60. Yep. And it has to be HDMI because DisplayPort's not a thing with cameras, and therefore I can see that. The better HDMI, HDMI 2.1 and so on and so forth, yeah. HDMI is leading the way. Sad Seems to say. Yeah. So therefore for graphics, I've been using DisplayPort now for a long while. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm about to start getting back into using HDMI. Be yeah. And I kind of don't want to. I kind of feel like I'm being disloyal because I've actually really liked DisplayPort. But yeah. it feels to me like DisplayPort's hit the end of the road. Yeah, well, there's DisplayPort 1.4, isn't there? Mm. Um, and I guess this comes does come back to the Intel topic because they're going to have to support all these latest technologies. Mm. And Intel have a pretty good track record, in my experience, on their iGPU side of things mm. of supporting these good display technologies. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah. DP 1.4, I think that's the, the the good one, isn't it, that can do like 8K and all that fancy stuff. But I'm kind of with you, and it'd be interesting to know your opinions on this in the comment section down below. For the 4K 60 stuff, which is, you know, most of the mainstream high-end stuff, 4K 144 is really pushing it. Yeah. I started using HDMI as well. Mm. If it supports the HDMI 2.0, I use it because I find HDMI particularly bulletproof, if I'm being honest, where it's DisplayPort because it does have that. It's almost like a removable element of it in Windows to an extent. Mm. It, it behaves slightly differently in Windows and with the monitor. I just find HDMI more bulletproof. HDMI is the natural progression from DVI, which back in the day, that, that was bulletproof. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 no, quite, quite. So, yes. Yeah, I agree with you there. Uh, and going back that far, the, the big difference was that you could, uh, plug and replug, yeah. Display port. Whereas DVI, if it wasn't connected when you boot it up, shut it down, and do it again. Um, it, but you are going back a terribly long way then. It's, yeah. So Display the, port, you could take it out and it wouldn't throw mm, a hissy fit. Whereas yeah. Display port would. But yeah, now, now with the higher resolutions, the 4K 60 in particular is like ah uh, problematic. But HDR, if you have any views on HDR, which obviously is high dynamic range, then interested here. If you're using HDR, if you have an HDR on, on Windows, I'm talking here, interested here. If you're using HDR on Apple and you haven't got a clue what we're talking about because it just works for you, then great. Bless you. Yeah. The phone. The phones are the other one these well, days. So, right, right. No, absolutely. Yeah, that, that's the phone. thing. We're, we are lagging behind a big time. But then, of course, we are more resolution than phones. I mean, phones are yeah. very small, high-density screens. And if you have any knowledge about HDR on Windows 11, because at the moment I've got nothing on that, I'd like to hear about that because all we've been hearing about is the blue and into That's my phone pocket. All we've been hearing about is the blue... Someone calling you about HDR. <laughs> is there an HDR phone there? Yeah. Dominic, about from the Kit Guru Discord. He's here, he's here to you talking about HD. Wait, Dominic uses Apple as well. Maybe he's referring to it. Dominic, somebody called Mean Bean. Mean Bean. I mean, Discord, I don't do Discord. I've, I've heard of it. I don't know what it is. We have people like Luke for Discord because they understand this stuff. I'm sorry. Discord, well, I don't really use it. I pretend the, to know. <laughs> the O11 Mini, today was the day we're recording this when the Leanne the O11 Mini went live. O11 Mini's review was the best I've seen in quite some time. Great job, Mr. Leo. 
Oh, oh thank you very much, Mean Bean, whoever you are. You That's failed. very, very kind of your wife to comment on the Discord, <laughs> Leon, isn't it? She's such a dear. Honestly, you can tell her we know her username now. Ow! <laughs> yeah. um, I've never been so lucky. So, so Mean say. Bean, you're not living up to your name because that's very sweet of you. Thank you very much. If I could just say, however, were you to say your review of the Leanne Leo 11 Mini was the best I've seen in quite some time, that would be grammatically even better. But thank you. I get the sense of what you're saying. This guy turned a win into a loss. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> There's a football joke in there, but no, I'm not no, going to no, go there. Right. Snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which, taking us back, of course, could be Intel if they either don't produce their graphics <laughs> card or if the drivers stink or if NVIDIA manages to get in there with the games developers. Yeah. Nice segue. Thank you very much. Because <laughs> yes. that is going to be the thing. I mean, NVIDIA, as we, we were discussing earlier off camera, we get regular emails from their agent, PR agency mm -hmm. about uh, this game now supports DLSS and this game supports yeah. ray tracing. I think they've already announced the Battlefield 2042 bundle with the cards, so you know they're going to have some good, X, good. Y, and Z in there. Yeah, and that, that's a big hit that, that that's going to be. That, that, that's when they're moving up to... Um, 10 or 12 to move up to 12 gigabytes of memory yeah quite yeah. If only you could download some more only 19.99 pounds euros dollars bargain yeah, yeah. quite mining but, restricted yeah um, intel yes, does intel have graphics. to hit out of the park yep. i think they, they have to because they've I, I know you're itching to say it, but they've almost almost i don't want to say blown the opportunity because that's harsh and i know i've just said it but if they were a few months earlier like they should have been they could have been in a great, great position. Oh, Whereas now... They could have backed they, up the armoured car for the cash while they're backing up the Pantechnica to unload the things. Oh, and absolutely. They, they'd they, have sold anything that functioned, they'd have sold for for. for it money. would have been no, perfect because people who like NVIDIA, people who like AMD, who are loyal to those brands, would have been pushed into a position where people they would have like to... like NVIDIA? People, people... I respect NVIDIA. I think we respect them all. In, I, I certainly respect them all, but people... Gamers hmm. like using video hardware. They like AMD hardware. They have their preferences. Did you see that thing the other day about the Mississippi River on uh, in stunning 4K on B right, BBC4, I think it was. Okay, I was busy there was, watching there was, Sky there was a guy with his red camera, I hulking great big thing. It was an in, R3D camera. In waders in the Mississippi River yeah. uh, doing alligators. What? Do you have a death wish? Well, this is the thing. He had a very long lens, in fairness. But there's always tiddly little alligators and mummy alligators protecting them. And basically, you know, if he went too close, yeah. it was curtains. Okay. And he was quite keen to get the shot. I think he respected the alligators. I don't think he liked the alligators. And that, I think, is my precise relationship yeah, with okay. NVIDIA. Which Fair is, points. I buy the products, they do the job, I hate the pricing... Everybody hates the price. They do the they do a good job. So yeah, those people who have some degree of brand respect for these companies have used mm. them for a long time. Trust them. They would be forced into a position where they either don't buy anything because there's none available, or right. they buy Intel. So I don't want to say they've missed the opportunity because I don't think they have. Especially when Jensen's saying, yeah, 2022 is going to be a tough year for supply as well. But they could have absolutely raked, and they would have had the perfect introduction to what is fundamentally a new market to them, where people would have had to buy their products and would have had to experience it, and might have gone, hmm, actually, this is pretty good. I'm, you know, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead with this. Closing question for you on the subject of Intel graphics, which after all was meant to be the topic of conversation. Yeah, but that, do how think, did that go? <laughs> who do we think will be the brand names on Nvidia? Uh, on my God, it's baked in. Who do we think will be the partner names making Intel graphics cards? The partner names? Ooh. Asus? Well, you'd, th you'd think... MSI? You'd think the motherboard vendors. EVGA? I have not... As the, I would, I'd be surprised if it was EVGA. I'd be stunned. I would right. be shocked if it was EVGA. Right. It's going to be Asus, MSI, and Gigabyte, Palette. almost certainly. Palette? Well, Palette's NVIDIA specific. Oh, yeah, they don't Absolutely. even do AMD. So. Sapphire? I'd be surprised with Sapphire. Right. They, so we're, we're heading down and yeah, an Asrock has question. recently signed up, relatively recently signed up with AMD. Yeah, but they don't uh, they do don't NVIDIA. They don't do NVIDIA, so I don't know why they wouldn't be involved. So my instinct is those four motherboard manufacturers, and I don't know yeah. about companies like Colourful and so on, because they do um, NVIDIA, I think, so I'd have thought. Yeah, not sure if they do. They think they do, yeah. But, but they don't really exist in the Western market. Right, exactly. We just get press releases from them. Yeah. So, instances, uh, Rock, I, I'd be mm, kind of... Right. Because they so AMD. Asus, yeah. MSI, Gigabyte. Yeah, I, I would have thought they would be an almost nailed-on guarantee, those three. Mm. Yeah. 
but, but just that's an interesting three, question. Or others as well. That's an interesting question. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. That actually, that's yeah. That is a really interesting question because what? I don't want to sound too surprised. <laughs> 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 Because that's an interesting point as well, though, isn't it? We we respect NVIDIA, we respect AMD, but their partners add this special source to make the package more appealing. Or they have done, particularly in previous years, I know you've obviously now got the Founders Edition and, yeah, and this yeah, and that, yeah. but they've always added this special source to make it a bit more appealing. So that's another barrier or a hurdle for Intel to overcome with their introduction to this new market. Absolutely, so yes. They, they've got their work cut out in many respects, but mm. they've also been given a nice... Um, a nice tailwind to push them into position if NVIDIA and AMD are still going to have the same supply issues that they've had for the last 12, 18 months. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. If it, if it wasn't for the supply issues with j during the past year plus, then yeah. Intel would be in a completely different position. They would be in a it, tough be a position. Very much an uphill yeah. struggle. Yeah. And you'd very much be into the games developers and the what support yeah. and this, that, and the other. And that is not the case. It is. Is it comparable to a... Reasonably RX high end cards. 600, 60, 700, yeah, RTX, 30, 70, 30, 60, yeah. 30, 70. If so, how much does it cost? Yep. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Next, yep. does it support yep. ray tracing? I don't care if it supports ray tracing. <laughs> I, I, I don't yeah. care. A lot of people don't, especially no. at that level of the market. No. So, if, yeah. if, however, it does HDR, <laughs> then. <laughs> Sign me up for two. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that's straightforward. Yeah, quite. And there we have it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Comments about HDR below, please. It's it's my latest interest. Mm -hmm. And uh, similarly, HDMI display port, but partners for Intel graphics cards. That's the thoughts rattling around the head. Yeah, I can feel the cogs spinning. Yeah, it happens on occasion. It's concerning. That's it. We're done. Absolutely.